Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Spin and Marty. This is not what I thought it was. I, I'd seen, when I've done searches, I'd seen this little image come up, and for some reason I, I got it mixed up with a Disney Channel series. This is actually uh, related to what I thought yesterday, or yesterday's? The Mickey Mouse Club thing, not yesterday's. The Mickey Mouse Club thing. Uh, Clubhouse. I thought that was Mickey Mouse Club. This is actually more related to the Mickey Mouse Club. It's presented by it. It's uh, from 1955. It's 25 episodes. Uh, one season, but it's 25 episodes. It's basically a teenage boy soap opera. Yeah, in the 1950s. Uh, it has a, an advisory that certain things may not have aged well. Uh, there are certain cultural depictions might not be hmm, good. Uh, I watched five episodes, believe it or not. They're only about 11, 12 minutes long each, uh, so, and they kind of draw you in. It's kind of weird. Like, I want to see how the arc ends. Like, there's no real true ending to the arcs, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, I kind of, like, well, they're gonna... They're, they've sworn they're going to have a fight next episode. Well, I got to see who wins the fight, so I watch the next episode. I eventually just had to stop at five, and uh, it, it's it's kind of a window into that whole, you know, nineteen fifties, that era in the fifties when every kid wanted to be a cowboy before they wanted to become an astronaut. So, yeah, this is like that moment just before, and uh, these kids all go to the uh, this summer camp really it's a it's a ranch uh they learn to ride horses and even though there's no horse riding for the most part uh <laughs> there are horses in the first episode but uh not nobody just like properly riding them uh it's kind of funny the uh there's a ornery uh you know stable guy and there's a bunch of older dudes just sort of hanging out uh who they're, they're counselors, I guess. They're, they're the bosses. They run the ranch and uh, take care of the boys, you know, a couple dozen of them at a time, uh, and make sure they eat their dinner and make their beds and, and teach them how to ride horses and roping and everything else. So uh, I assume that's going to happen at some point, but it has not happened in the first five episodes. Uh, really, this is all about Spin, obviously, and Marty. Spin is an old school... Uh, cowboy type kid who who's been there at the camp before and he saved up all of his newspaper delivery money to make sure he came back again because he loves it so much uh he's like the nicest kid everybody likes him uh but yeah he's he's just sort of like the alpha kid in, in, in the story but he but again he's he's not a jerk or anything but uh along comes marty or martin uh, who is a boy of sophistication and certainly not a boy who wants to be at a camp like this. He comes from a wealthy home. He has a butler chauffeur who drives him in their little sort of limousine car kind of thing to the camp. Um, he makes a bad impression right off at the very beginning. Uh, the kids all see him as a kind of a snooty chip on his shoulder kind of thing. The guys running the place think he's got a shit chip on his shoulder. And the only reason he's there is that, one, he he does like horses. Um, and he's kind of was urged. He lived, he's grown up living with his grandparents. Um, or his grandma. Sorry, his grandma. is very controlling grandma from what everybody says. And the butler. And he hasn't had a mom. Uh, he, her mom his mom died when he was one. And I don't know. I don't think his dad survived the war. Uh, he basically, in, this is 1955, so it's 19, it could be the Korean War, or it could be World War II, more than likely. But uh, the guy who runs the, the camp served with Marty's dad, and so that's why he kind of knows who the kid is and wants to make sure um, that he's included. Well, Marty does his best to alienate everybody he comes across. Uh, he's... He's like, oh, well, he, he looks at one of the other kids serving him his food, like, you know, here's your dessert. He's like, well, I'm going to, you're going to have to do this tomorrow. It's going to be your turn. Like, And he's like, I, me? Serve 
other people? That doesn't make sense. Why would I do that? So it, it, he, he rubs everybody the wrong way. He gets in a fight with Spin, uh, where, oh, Spin, even though he's a nice guy, he put a little prank, pulled a little prank and uh, put a frog in his bed. And they're like, oh, they start knocking each other around. And one of the counselors goes, okay, the way we settle things is you put on the boxing gloves and you have it out that way. So it's a little safer, but it's still weirdly uh, the situation where people are getting, enter adults are getting entertainment about while well, watching shirtless boys punch each other with boxing gloves. Meanwhile, uh, the cook, who is also, who is the main poorly uh, depicted cultural thing, he's a Chinese cook, and he's there, by the way, the butler decides to stick around because uh, he's not supposed to leave the kid's side for the most part, but he let they let him become one of the cooks because he's a fairly good cook, apparently, and he, he let, gets to work in the kitchen. So there's the kid. Marty has, you know, somewhat of a support system, but at the same time, I think the butler is also betting on how well he'd do with the Chinese cook. Yeah, like I said, the Chinese cook is oh, not depicted. It doesn't age well. Let's just say that. Anyway, at least he's actually Chinese. It's not, not just a white guy playing a Chinese guy, which is entirely within the realm of possibility in this era of television. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, this is actually a little bit engaging. It, the kids are not good actors whatsoever. It is, I'm shouting my lines that I memorized just before the cameras rolled. Some of them are better than others, but they're not really that good. Um, but yeah, so uh, Spin and Marty, the, it's actually the full name is The Adventures of Spin and Marty, even though they just say Spin and Marty. I, I think alphabetically, I think they wanted to make it more easily searchable. I, I don't know, rather than Adventures. Spin and Marty. So yeah, if you're into this kind of thing, to see this kind of bit of, I don't know, classic Disney uh, that spun out of the, the Mickey Mouse Club, well, here's your chance. Uh, you can see what it was like in 1955 uh, to be a 12-year-old boy who wants to be a cowboy. And uh, the adventures and the soap operas, and yes, the soap opera that builds uh, between these kids. And by the end, I do not doubt that Spin and Marty are going to be best friends and Everybody's going to have learned a lesson about treating each other well and being a man and or a cowboy or a cowman. I don't know. It's just the way it's going to work out. I'm just guessing. But yeah, it's a uh, if you want to if you want to see another real good piece of Disney history, oh, this is it. Spin and Marty. Not what I expected. But here we go. We're going to pick tomorrow's episode. Four hundred thirty-five. We're just staying in the four hundreds. Four thirty-five. I expect to bounce around a little bit more, but I guess not. <laughs> oh God. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's all randomly picked, so I don't have a say in this. I'm gonna watch it. Uh, this is probably another Disney Junior thing, and my footage is okay. Um, is another Disney Junior thing. Uh, we'll probably watch maybe one. Well, we'll definitely watch one episode, maybe two. We'll see. Uh, but I, I, I have a feeling I know what this is going to be. It's for little, little kids. It's Puppy Dog Pals. Puppy Dog Pals is what we're watching on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.